you are the center yesterday i spoke on mindfulness i gave certain examples those are the techniques through which one can get into mindfulness this topic you are the center is related to that somehow or the other you have to get yourself convinced that we are all interconnected by an invisible bond the man on the street the fruit on the tree the flower on the plant are all connected with one another there is a power within that knows beyond our knowings we are bound to each other by a causeless force we are bound to each other by a causeless force when we come to the religious places our approach and attitude is different than when we enter into day to day life when you come in front of your boss or who is superior to you you act differently and when you come in the company of someone else you act differently i understand one day mulla nasruddin came home he was very upset because his boss said something and why he said mulla could not understand what was the relevance of all these talks that his boss did he happened to see a mark sheet which showed the person failed in many subjects and the lowest marks in most of the subjects called out to his son and he started yelling at him so much of hard work i had to do to earn the money and send you to the school and look at your mark sheet not even a single subject where you have got the marks in double figures everywhere the marks are very low so he continued to yell thus take out the anger that he had gathered while talking to his boss he could not say anything to him because the boss was superior to him and he hold the reins of his job in his hands after mulla finished he asked his son do you have to say anything in defense the son said abba look at the name on that mark sheet this is not my mark sheet instead this is your own mark sheet when mulla looked at it in fact it was his mark sheet and he was continuing to yell at the child this is the attitude of each one of us and we pretend ourselves to be religious religiousness does not mean put on the garb hold the bible or the scripture in your hand go to the church and come back no it is a moment to moment you have to remember that you are the center and around the center many circumference can be made circumference of different radius different because in order to draw a circle or circumference you will need a distance from the center and that distance from the center is called radius not the diameter and radius becomes your thoroughfare through which you move to the circumference and return from the circumference to your center to recuperate and to live there when i said in mindfulness we act as a robot we do things mechanically and we do not know why we are doing this you come home after interaction throughout the day you have to go through the sun heat and all that you sweat your clothes get dirty there is a smell of perspiration 
what you do first thing you go and do change your clothes take a shower and you get fresh every moment the seeker has to do this you return to the center you have finished an interaction you return to the center remember that you are the center and you have to interact from the circumference you rest in the bedroom you get entertainment in the living room because the television set is put there and it is in the living room that you entertain the guests that come to your place a seeker is always constantly in a state of honeymoon he goes out to the circumference to interact with the people comes back but never forgets that he is the center he is the center of the cyclone on the surface there is a turmoil but at the center there is calm when you go in the depth of the ocean you will find the ocean is calm there is no disturbance waves arise on the surface when you remember this and you interact out of that understanding you are learning the art of mindfulness the examples are given but you have to constantly remember that you are connected to each one of us by an invisible bond you come home and you bounce the tail of your car with the gate or post what do you do you say oh shocks i get a hit nothing else but if it is done by someone else what is your approach what is your attitude that is why i don't like to give you the car you don't know how to drive you don't know that is why i don't like to give you the car the example that i gave you of mulla nasruddin he wanted to get himself unbind of that tension that he has got in the company of his when the boss called him and told him is about his irresponsible behavior in the company of the others mulla did not like this he comes home and he happens to get hold of a mark sheet without looking at it without remembering that you are the center without looking at whose mark sheet it was he started yelling at his son and started talking that he was such a brilliant student in his school days always he stood first in high grades in the class and he started the subject look in english what kind of marks you got i used to get in high 80s in mathematics always 100% in social studies always very high grades when he continued finishing yelling he asked his son son do you have to say anything in defense of all that your mark sheet shows he said abba look at the name of the mark sheet it is your mark sheet not mine what is the situation of the person this is how we interact you bounce the car that is okay but if someone else does it is not accepted to you you forget that that you are the center you are bound to each other by a causeless force the mistake that you can commit the other can commit in the same state but no for yourself the ex- the explanation is different than that for the others how can you be a religious person to be meditative to be in meditation means moment to moment remembrance that you are the same you are connected to one another by a causeless force never act like mulla nasruddin never act like mulla nasruddin looking at his own mark sheet and yelling at the sun without looking at the name on the mark sheet but you are not aware of this 
your connection is only of the circumference. A religious person is one whose connection is connection with the center is never severed. He may do many things. He may interact with many people. He may go to the circumference, but he is always connected through the Wi-Fi. Just as you can carry your laptop wherever you go, but through the Wi-Fi, the laptop is automatically connected to the internet service. And it is through the connection with the internet service you can access the cyberspace. You can connect to the people. There can be no better example. Laptops, battery is charged. The Wi-Fi is working. Do not need to connect it to the electricity for charging. It is charged for a certain period of time. It is connected to the Wi-Fi and permanently to the Wi-Fi. A religious person is one who is connected permanently to Wi-Fi, which is his center. And when you return home, you plug it on and the battery begins to charge again. In the morning when I am doing the meditation session, I have to bring the laptop from the place where it is normally placed in the state of walking to another room where the meditation session takes place so it is not connected to the electricity. It is working on the charge which has been restored into it. So it has the battery charged and when the session is over I'll take it back and connect it to the source. Connect it to the adapter and it will begin to charge and be ready for the next session. This is the religious person. He can have his battery connected permanently so that it goes on charging while it is in the communication. All relations, emotions, and all that is changing, goes on changing, relates to the periphery or the circumference. Deep within at the center, we are all connected. There is a power within that knows beyond our knowings. We are only separate on the circumference, on the surface. At the center, we are one. We get our nourish, all the plants get their nourishment from the same flower bed. They get the water from the same source, rain water. All the water that is applied to the roots of the plant on the flower bed, the same air, the same sunlight, everything is the same. You are drawing the, you are sitting in the same room, getting the cold breeze from the air conditioner, the light from the same source, maybe sitting on the same couch and having an argument with your spouse, with your son, with your mother and showing expressions of anger and all these things. Where is your understanding of religiousness that we are bound to each other by a causeless force? We are drawing the light from the same bulb, getting the cold breeze from the same air conditioner, sitting on the same couch. We are on the circumference, we forget that at the center we are one. Being religious does not mean, as I said, going to the church, place of your worship, or coming to the meditation session religiously, but not understanding anything when it comes to applying in day-to-day -day life and living. Religiousness means you have heard a line, you are applying it to your 
behavior to your understanding. Each session carries a message which is relevant. If you have heard a single line, that is more than enough to transform you. It is like that the poet says, once you have called me so lovingly, the echo continue to that sound, those words continue to echo in my ears like the dissolving notes of an enchanting melody. It continues to enchant me every moment as it comes. I can never forget that voice, that face when I met you for the first time and that echo continues to linger in my ears like the dissolving notes of an enchanting melody. On the periphery we are individuals and personalities, at the center we are the cosmos, the universe, the totality, the existence. And when sometimes you are at the center, you can have all those glimpses which happen to anybody who is at the center. At some time or the other, everyone moves to the center. Indeed, in spite of oneself, sometimes one reaches to the center. It can happen accidentally as well. It can happen knowingly as well. Sometimes something happens and a process triggers one is flowing very high. You are not aware of this. You may not be able to express it sometimes or maybe your expression is not adequate because the expression belongs to the periphery and the experience belongs to the center. You have tasted something that you have never done in your life but your words fail to express that sentiments, that taste, that you have tasted it. And once you have tasted the, the center, consciously and knowingly you will never forget. And that is what it is that I have tasted that center once and I can never forget that. that Vision continues to remain in my eyes. No other vision can enter. No other sound can enter my ears. And it continues to enchant me every moment. When you are at the center, you experience something. When you come back to the periphery, you may not be able to express it or may be able only to express it inadequately. Somebody, may, somebody else may be able to express it in a better way. Listening to him, suddenly you will see. But this is what I was going to say, or this is what I have been feeling. It has always happened in the world. This is called synchronicity. Parallel processes are going on. Scientists also think that if a certain discovery is made, for example, the theory of relativity. At a time when Albert Einstein was working on the theory of relativity, there was someone else who was working. Remember, we are all connected to a causeless force. And one of the poets says, all these thoughts comes from an unknown realm which in terms of computer technology we can call cyberspace. Everything is in the cyberspace. Incidentally or accidentally, accidentally you and I connect to the same source. You are watching it and I am watching it. There is a reaction interaction happening in you and I. We may be far away, but we are connected to the same topic or same message. So it is said, 
that if Albert Einstein had not discovered it, then within months somebody else would have discovered it because many people around the earth were feeling the same. Einstein was just the first to express it and when he expressed it, many people felt that this is what they have been vaguely feeling. It was ambiguous. That time scientists could not understand. It was ambiguous, not very clear, but it was certainly there. In some mysterious way it was felt by many people. So when you suddenly go on your, into your cyberspace, you connect to a particular subject and someone else is staying far away from you also connects to the same source. The people throughout the world listen to these talks when they are available on YouTube. Two people may be sitting in a different continents, different time zones, unaware of one another, maybe listening to this, what they, what are they doing? Knowingly or unknowingly, indirectly they are connecting to me. The moment you begin to listen to this in a meditative way, you are connected to me and the energy field that encompasses my presence and then something begins to happen. Sometimes it happens that a patient has been registered in America on a certain day and the patient for the same complaint has been registered in England on the same day and another one in Japan. All three persons have come to discover the same thing almost at the same time. It becomes difficult. Who is the discoverer? Albert Einstein himself said later that if he had not discovered the theory of relativity, somebody else would have. The time for the idea has come. This is how it goes on. The ideas are there constantly floating in the cosmic cyber space. Whosoever connects to that first and expresses it wins the race. No thought is yours. It is part of the cosmos. So you will feel this many times when you are in a kind of depth or height. You call it height or depth. It doesn't matter. When you are not really feeling ordinary or you are feeling something extraordinary, then you will have the glimpses. The others may also have the glimpses in that state as well. And when that happens, that is the process of transformation has begun. You have listened to these talks. Someone else has listened to these talks. The other is trying to imagine when the voice and the message of this person who is speaking is like this, how would he be like that? How would he be in physical? And if I meet that person, what will I do? What kind of, what I may do? Because each time when I listen to this voice, something begins to happen to me. I do not know what it is. Whether it is called love or something else, I do not know what to say. What am I going to do when I meet? Maybe I will just rush up to him and give him a hug. Maybe I may just bow down to his feet. Maybe I may be just dazed looking at him. This is what the beauty of cosmos is. When so many things are pouring into us on a moment to moment in the form of thoughts, where these are coming from, the religion says it all comes from the divine, God, Allah, the Father. When the message is such, how magnanimous would his presence be? 
I am simply listening to an audio recording and I am feeling this within. What will happen? Will I get intoxicated when I physically meet this person? What am I going to do? Many thoughts like these goes on happening in the minds of the people. Because I have gone through that state, so I know that. Or you may be feeling something extraordinary, then you will have the glimpses and others may also have those glimpses in that state too. Those who permanently abide in that state can always feel whatsoever is being felt around the world. This happens. Life is more mysterious than we think it is. It is far more mysterious than all the fictions. It will happen again and again. Watch it. Good. It will continue to happen. And you have to remember that you are at the center. Not at the center, but you are the center. Center of the cyclone. All waves are arising around you, but you, the ocean is quiet. Nothing is happening. At the center. And when you know that thoroughfare between the center and circumference, it is hazy, it is covered by snow, it is covered by the water and you have to discover that thoroughfare between the center and the circumference. From any direction on the circumference you move to the center. As you walk you create the thoroughfare. As you interact with the person irrespective of who it is, you are walking from the center to the circumference, but you cannot walk on a place from circumference to another place on the circumference because your battery is discharged. So you have to plug it again and sometimes you say that the battery of my phone is down, I cannot connect to you. I will have to speak to you on another time when the battery is fully charged. Means you are at the center. Your connectivity to the center remains always. Always keep yourself plugged on so that the battery remains charged. You move from the center to the circumference, interact, knowing well that we are part of one cosmic harmony or synergistic harmony. There is a causeless force within that knows beyond our knowings. And then, in a true sense, you are religious. The religiosity will begin to manifest through your actions, thoughts, understanding, small or big. You will never remain separate from this.